What you're looking at, folks, is a uh, hardy Psychid pontuensis in uh, our garden here on Salt Spring Island. You can see the fronds on it. Beautiful fronds. This is one of the most cold hardy cycads uh, from China. So it's uh, January 18th today, 2016. I put a little uh, metal tomato ring over it and just put a little piece of plastic over top just to keep the uh, crown dry. But uh, probably wouldn't even need that. So um, these, uh, this Cycus, Cycus uh, pansuensis, pansuensis comes from uh, Sichuan and northern uh, Yunnan provinces of China. And uh, very few specimens and uh, seeds of this plant have actually been allowed out of the country. So not a common cycad. It's a beautiful cycad. It'll grow uh, four to six feet tall. And uh, does well here in my garden, the high end of zone 8B. And I do grow a lot of zone 9 a plants as well. Um, this species is very cold hardy because it grows in an environment uh, with very cold and often frosty winters. So uh, we don't have a lot of frosty winters here. Or, you know, we, get, we do get frost, but not a lot of it. And uh, hardiness on this one I would say is down to about minus 6.5 or minus 6.6 .6 degrees, which would equal about 20 degrees Fahrenheit. So um, this is one to try though. If you're into cycads, I do also grow Cycus revoluta. I got quite a few of them, and those ones are less hardy. Maybe down to, uh, maybe about this hardy, or a little bit, a uh, little bit less. But they can't take as much frost as this, I don't think. So, and I'm sure this one will probably even take lower temperatures than 20 degrees Fahrenheit. That's kind of being conservative. So, very stiff, leathery fronds on it. So. And they're not a palm, they're actually a cone-bearing conifer. Probably date back to the Carboniferous age, so. And, uh, let's look at the crowns. Nice and dry in here, I've covered it up with, I've covered it up with uh, redwood needles and pine needles, so. It's actually quite, quite a thick trunk on this one here. I can see it in here. It's gonna be beautiful. This summer when it flushes out a new set of fronds that's in there anyway it's hard to see but it's actually quite big and bulbous the base so anyway I'm going to cover this thing back up and let it enjoy the rest of the winter in hibernation and then uh, we'll cover it in March take the plastic off I just like I said I just drape it over top of that tomato cage there so anyway that's one to try folks the uh, hardy psychic from China. Thanks for watching.